Climate change is now on the agenda of every company and financial institution around the world. There's a growing recognition that both the physical risks associated with climate change and the challenges and risks associated with the transition to a low carbon future need to be on the agenda and need to be the focus of management and leadership of businesses all around the world. At RMI, we work to transform the global energy system to secure a clean, prosperous, zero carbon future for all. Our mission is to help businesses and industries, cities and states, governments and policymakers drive the transition towards a zero carbon energy future. In order to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 50% over the next decade, the energy system needs to be transformed. Energy represents almost 70% of greenhouse gas emissions around the world. And so, whereas it is 70% of the problem, it also needs to be 70% of the solution. Nobody can pretend that they can, on their own, find the solutions for the energy transition. This is a complex and massive challenge. So in all the work that we do, we look for partners and collaborators. We team up with other civil society organizations. Uh, we love to work with businesses, financial institutions to drive the change at a much higher pace. There's several basic things that the analysis make very clear that we need to do. First is that we need to phase out coal generation uh, by 2030, with all coal practically eliminated and out of operation. Second, we have to greatly reduce gas generation from our generation mix. Third, we have to increase the deployment of clean energy. Fourth, we need to make sure that our grid, our, these networks, the electricity system as an entire system is modernized and ready to support really high levels of renewable energy penetration, as well as broad electrification of buildings, transportation, and industry. And lastly, we need to make sure that this transition is progressive and that we make these changes in a way that is equitable and just creating and improving opportunities for the frontline communities with our reinvented system. What we're trying to do through the Mission Possible Partnership is to bring industries together to help them brainstorm on some of these solutions and really make commitments on the pathway that's going to get them to net zero by 2050. So our Climate Aligned Industries practice um, really focuses on seven sectors right now. So we focus on four material sectors, steel, aluminum, uh, chemicals and cement, and then three heavy transport sectors, aviation, trucking, and shipping. Um, and what we're trying to do with these sectors is we're really taking an ecosystem approach to catalyzing change in this century. What needs to happen is a combination of new technology, implementation of a high degree of energy efficiency, and fuel switching. Um, so what we're trying to do through the Mission Possible Partnership is to bring industries together to help them brainstorm on some of these solutions and really make commitments on the pathway that's gonna get them to net zero by 2050. And so that's really what we're trying to create here is the center of gravity for industrial decarbonization so that corporate actors understand where to get the information they need to put themselves on the path they need to be on. We need to be retrofitting roughly 3 million buildings a year and just to put that in comparison, there's over 1 million new construction starts per year. It's three times as much um, activity as the new construction market. It's not gonna just be one or two sort of companies that do this. This is, a, this is a whole industry that needs to be mobilized. Realize is very inspired by a model that was developed in Europe, actually, in the Netherlands, um, known as Energy Sprung. What they did is they have use sort of industrial construction and standardization to create these net zero energy retrofits that can be installed in a day. Um, and the idea is that by using 
um, standardization and, and sort of industrialized construction to make these packages that you can start to scale them up more rapidly and therefore reduce the cost. So that's how we started and we wanted to adapt their model and bring it to the U.S. market. So a lot of our work to date has been sort of trying to mobilize industry to provide these types of solutions. This is requiring a total reimagination of how we construct and renovate buildings. Realize is actually continuing to evolve and in partnership with the Department of Energy, we've also launched the Advanced Building Construction Collaborative, which is all about bringing this network um, together of what we're calling solution providers. And that can include general contractors and manufacturers and architects and engineers and the entire value chain that it takes to renovate a building. I'm optimistic that we can decarbonize our electricity system in the next decade because the electricity system is actually the one sector of the real economy where we have been reducing emissions. We have all the technology that we need to reach those 2030 targets. And what's better, those technologies are affordable and will save us money and will make our system more modern and capable to support modern low carbon economies here in the US and everywhere else in the world. The odds that one single innovation is going to transform the industry is very low, but the odds that many individuals trying things many times over is gonna transform the industry is very high. And so that's why it's important for us to try a lot of things and not to wait to start trying things. We recognize the challenge of limiting global warming to one and a half degrees. At RMI, we're neither optimistic nor pessimistic. We apply hope to the challenge. We believe that proactively working towards a low carbon energy future is the right way of creating that future.